my name is Sharon Peka. I'm an English professor at Gallaudet University, and I also went through a graduate program in public history. So I do tour guiding for fun, um, volunteer with different cemeteries in the Richmond area. And one of my tours is at Shaco Hill Cemetery, which is very important for Poe and to Poe enthusiasts because this is where his foster parents are buried. And also there's more family, there's more friends and acquaintances buried in that cemetery than any other place that's connected to Poe. Um, so I do an annual tour in October near the anniversary of his death and really have a lot of fun. Also grew up kind of close to the Poe Museum in Richmond. So it was always around and I don't remember the first time I went there. Maybe it was a school trip. I'm not really sure, but I've been volunteering and visiting and attending their events for decades. The souls close to Edgar Allan Poe, graves of his family, friends, and foes. And the idea was that I liked I like history when I'm in place. Like so, public tours. Um, I love walking tours. I love to give tours, but I also like to make thematic tours for myself. And since you know, post COVID, and I'm an introvert, I this was my second grand tour of cemeteries based on a theme. So I wrote about women writers buried in Virginia. And I write with the history press and they were like, you know, they really want regions. So then I decided, how about five states and D.C.? I will go to 19 cemeteries, 13 uh, or 37 memorials. Um, and they liked it because, you know, post sales, people are interested. But overall, I wanted to become knowledgeable of these people who really made a difference in Poe's life. These were the people who inspired him, who encouraged him, sometimes foiled his plans. But I also didn't want to just go to their graves and meet these people without knowing who they were. So the book is basically my tour of all these different graves, trying to put connections together, the age of people, who they were, and how they influenced Poe, either his life or his work. This research is actually based on what I call the Southern cemeteries, because I love the history press, but they are incredibly strict with word count. But Poe knew so many people that I quickly had to decide, I'm going to call these Southern cemeteries and reach sort of a cap. Um, for me, like, I... As an English professor, I teach post stories. William Wilson's my favorite. But for research purposes and for fun, because this is outside of academia, I really like to focus on the graves and the connections that he had with the people who are buried. And I want to find more people because there's only 37 in this book. So obviously there's many more people for me to visit. I'm never that creative with titles. So my website is SharonPaka.com. Um, S-H-A-R-O-N-P-A-J-K-A. -A. My last name actually is Polish and it means child of the land of spiders. So I've always thought that gave me good goth street cred. And you can go to Arcadia, which is the history press publishing and look for the